The European Cricket Championship is proudly brought to you by Dream 11, HCL Software, Junta de Andalucía and Stake.com. Babar Khan, Mini Booney in the team today. I saw he had some lower leg issues in the contest yesterday. Well, that ball's a little bit of width outside off stump and struck very cleanly, just short of the boundary, wide of cover. It's a lovely shot, pierces the gap through the offside and Danidu. Only second ball he's faced, but beautifully timed. Baba, it's a good ball. Popped off a lane. That's nicely flighted leg spinner, but straight into the hitting zone of Nackby. And he goes Maximo for the first time today. Italy, 23 for none. And speaking of Maximos, what an amazing segue to bring. Vinny, Mr. Maximo Sandu into the commentary box. Yeah, didn't have to wait long. Well, as the bar just drifts on to leg stump. Decent length ball, but he's managed to keep the top hand under control. Nightby driving straight down the ground. This is a big gamble. That one drifts on to leg. Not a great ball, and it's just helped around. And Nackby, and he's moved along to 24 off 12. That one's outside off stump, and it has been sent skyrocketing over the boundary on the offside. Gorgeous timing. Actually on 30. A little bit of an off pace one swinging back in, but it's beautifully played by Nackby. He read the change of pace and the change of approach. Up ish. The, the field's all up because it's still the power play, and that one's just dropped in inside the boundary rope. Not a bad ball. Well, he's unlucky that bowler outside edge first ball, thicker one. Got the field here very straight mid off in the circle, and it won't matter because it's going to be slashed away. Slower ball, read well and struck wonderfully well down the ground. Nackby Maximo finished the fourth over. The Italians racing along 67 for none. Just pushes that one wide of leg stump. Too easy for a batter of Marage's class. So, lovely pure action is that one. He's hit very purely over square leg boundary. Lovely timing. Marage and Akbi, they're just picking their deliveries to launch. Final ball for his son. Drops short. Outside edge and it's flown off the bat of Marage and Maximo signalled well Italy fantastic start for them in the first five 87 for none the one where he's hit the deck hard izan has got a bit of work to do doesn't complete the task and he put the brakes on oh, it's not an attractive way to bring up what has been a very good half century for Nackby Certainly probably one of the poorest shots he's played today, but he won't care one iota. 53 off 21. I'm sure they are. Okay, not bad over from Hamza here, but oh. now he's going to get pounded on the up, and that one ain't coming back, Rhino. Maximo, that one was a hilltopper. Ain't coming back. He's going to need visa paper to, to get back into the country. That poor grizzly ball, that has been sent flying. What timing still there or thereabouts although they may not be so much after that ball is sent flying into the treetops oh, good cricket shot a deal tries to go for the yorker speared in at leg stump oh another full toss not as cleanly off the bat that occasion but it doesn't matter he carries the boundary by a good 20 meters and nakvi continues to punish this Spanish attack. Yeah. In this last three overs. Now this is just going to fall into a pocket of space and that's frustrating. Alger does the fielding. But the first false shot we've seen in a while falls into space. Short ball. Off speed, but Marage 
And he's only just reached it from outside off stump, but has managed to drag it across. He makes his way to 49, one short of the half ton. That no one's dragged down the leg side, and it's helped on its way by Nakvi. He's in exquisite form, and there's some danger signs coming up for the Spanish. BDC goes length. It's not a bad ball, but it's just helped around by Nakvi. Everything going his way at the moment. That's on length, and it's sent flying over the long off boundary. That stayed in the sky for an eternity, and DDC goes for 10 off his first two balls. Nakvi on 94. And he goes big again. He completes an Italian renaissance here at the Cardamar Oval. Raises his hands in celebration. Marage, the first one there to congratulate him. And what an innings of striking from Zayn Nakvi. 100 off 34 balls. Yeah, what an innings. Oh, especially when they're getting served half trackers, but somehow after barely missing a ball all day, he's taken a half track ball from DDC's medium paces and hit it straight down the throat. The fielder there at Ford Square Leg, the end to a fantastic innings from Nackby. Final over. That one's just lofted over the infield. Wasn't a bad ball. You haven't been able to face. Uh, Sandu heaves it across and just over the head of Matteo Roman. I think he said nice try. Now the next one is going to be pounded through the covers and that's four as well. So Rajmani, after a couple of misses, bringing this innings home with a bang. Last chance for him to add to the score. Well, he does. He tries to go big. DDC takes a good catch and... Vinny, those little moments, that goes for six. Uh, chasing 176, a bit tougher than 170. DDC yeah. takes a catch. Well, I mean, in the coaching manual, I always tell you you'd rather chase 171 than 177, as you said. And so DDC and did his bit to try and keep things down. This Zane Akvi, though, it wasn't he incredible with his century and even 100 here to set up this. It's the perfect checkout for Italy, 170 for two off the 10 overs. Anyway, DDC, he's on four consecutive ducks. Not that I want to mention it. He'll get a run and he'll feel a thousand percent better. Oh, and I no hope he raises his bat to the crowd. Doesn't even need to. Lovely swing of the bat. I tell you what, that has gone flat, but it has gone far. Oh, there's nothing unorthodox about that strike. The top hand and the high elbow, glorious stuff technically, and what a strike. Oh, well, maybe he needs to put the sleeves back on because he's been hoisted over mid-wicket, and that is the DDC we've come to know and love. What a strike. Yeah, fraction short, pounces on it. That one's on length, that he's gone to mid-wicket again. Just heave for a second, Maximo off the over, and Singh may wishing he'd stayed off the field. Good change of pace, ball goes high off the bat. Oh, it's a pretty ordinary ball, and it's a pretty good shot from Yassine. The ball held up in the deck. Had to wait for it and somehow generated enough power playing away from his body. It was desperation. They got that over the line. Oh, another gorgeous shot from Yassin. Oh, gorgeous stuff again from Yassin. Right in the slot from Ali and he's been pumped for a succession of Maximos off his first three balls. Yeah, what a shot this is as well. Goes in the slot again, and Yassine dispatches him. Oh, we've seen five in four. Oh, maybe not. He hasn't got a great piece of that, and it's actually been taken well off the bat. 
I thought Yassine was smoking him for a fifth success of Maximo. As it is, it's gone higher than it has gone longer. And that's actually a very, very good catch because that ball sat in the air from an eternity. Yeah. Marcelino Da, he goes high, but he goes much longer. What a way to start your innings. And poor Ali goes the one wicket, five maximize, so 30 off his contribution. Nicely flighted, and DDC opens up the face, sends that backward of point, races away from boundary. Oh, flighted, given the opportunity to get underneath it, and Doyle oh, Kai smokes it over the long off boundary for Maximo. That's the shot. That's his shot right there. Goes short, and he's pumped. Salim Dar sends it flying over the long on boundary and Spain are starting to believe. That one onto off stump and DDC has sent that delivery flying. He is charging. That's a brilliant shot. So just arms up and gets something short and that's going to be hit over the top as well. Maximo! Short ball and it's pumped again. Whether it's a massacre or a medley or a melee of Maximos, they are coming all over the joint and Singh is getting demolished. Oh, terrible ball. I'll have a look at the replay. Oh, I don't big. think that's going to get called no ball, but it certainly is going to, get to be called a Maximo. Shot opens up the face of the bat. Singh gives him width outside off stump. He gets pumped for 49. Oh, wickets are crucial too. Just trying to get new batters at the crease. As DDC, probably not his most sparkling shot of the day, still carries the boundary. Yet another Maximo. Short, wide. Coming off the bottom part of the bat. But it's enough Willow to send it to the boundary. Oh, Sandy goes length again, and third consecutive ball getting to the boundary, and that is a half ton for a man who has been up against it in the last four games, but he comes out like the champion he is, DDC. 54 off 17 balls. That's a great knock. Oh, that's dragged onto the leg side, and this gamble with Sandu hasn't worked. It's too easy for DDC. Uh, you're not going to get anything different from DDC. That one is going to be tough to find. Maximo into the 140s. And now it seems a matter of time until Team Espana are going to pull off the third largest chase in ECN history. Unbelievable. Camarage okay, might have a wicket here, and he will. Once again, it's something different that does it. He tosses it up, and Hamza Salim Dar, of course, he wasn't going to stick around. He was on for a 10-ball 50 there. It would have tied the record, but his ninth ball is his undoing as Nish Fernando takes the catch out the leg side fence. But you can tell from the Italians right now, there's no big histrionics for them. They feel this one's already got away. I like the concept of at least trying to take the pace off the ball, but that one is just flighted up into the slot. And DDC dispatches it again. That's crazy. Oh, he goes reverse oh, no. and he gets a big piece. And that's brought the Spanish dressing room to their feet. The reverse Maximo. Oh, and now oh, it's time to party. He's absolutely got every piece of this. The reverse mode from Daniel Dog. Kayet. Last ball of the eighth, maybe last ball of the game. It is. What a way to finish. Hassan lofts his bat up. Rutgers and Priddle are ecstatic amongst their Spanish team. What a phenomenal win.